Welcome everyone and thanks so much for joining me in this video where we look at one person's answer to the question why on earth did you remain on Kotal so long? Sue Buchanan was the founder of the Samui Times online news service but was forced to flee Thailand after breaking just too many stories of violent crime on Koh Tao, also known as Death Island. A few days ago, Sue published this excellent post on Facebook, which I shall narrate for you right now with some added graphics. When I arrived in Koh Tao in 1998, I had no idea that I would end up in exile from the country that became my home for 20 years for what went on there. I was a scuba diver and was enjoying the island above and below the waves. When Tony Lotus died in mysterious circumstances, I didn't think much of it. When I was shown the body of a Burmese man cut from ear to ear and told it was a warning not to hire Burmese people, I put it in the back of my mind. When Mr. Ban was shot in the head six times, I decided his assassination had nothing to do with me and carried on as normal. When my friend Charlene was found dead in the jungle with parts of her body missing, I felt that as long as I kept my head down, I would be fine. This went on for years, me making one excuse after another as death after death after death kept happening. Despite this, I never felt particularly in danger. When the courts wrongly convicted Zolin and Wai Pyo and sentenced them to death, I decided I had turned the other cheek once too often and stood up for them. This is when it all changed. Death threats, having to flee Thailand, a ridiculous arrest warrant stopping me ever returning and never seeing my house again. The islands in the Gulf truly are paradise. As long as you don't get killed, as long as you keep their secrets, as long as you turn a blind eye. If not, you will be silenced one way or another. Or so they think. I will not be silenced, come what may. That was Sue's Facebook post, succinct but compelling. There are, of course, dozens of outsiders who met an untimely death on Koh Tao, but I cover those in the other hundred plus videos on this channel, although the mainstream media overlooks many. Efforts are underway to try to secure full royal pardons for Zorlin and Wai Pyo. Some details are contained in these videos with links in the description below. Sue published her own book earlier this year called The Curse of the Turtle, which is available on Amazon and I highly recommend it. I do hope you liked Sue's Facebook post. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. Please give the video a thumbs up and leave any constructive comments below. All the best and please take care of each other. Bye for now.